It's Friday the 18th of August 2017 and we are pleased to bring you today's edition of local news. Welcome. In the news, National Children's Vaccination Program can proceed. More than 2,000 school children receive school kit. Fifth Telesur IT Core Hackathon will proceed this year. Bill against electronic slander approved by Parliament. I am Randy Kromodi Harjo and your local news begins now. The National School Children's Vaccination Program can normally take place. This is reported by the Ministry of Health. In collaboration with the PAHO, the Ministry has borrowed 3,000 pentavalent vaccines from neighboring Guyana. The vaccines arrived on Wednesday. The pentavalent vaccine is a 5-in-1 vaccine that can prevent diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, influenza type B, and hepatitis B. Two weeks ago, the Ministry reported there was a shortage of vaccines. A cooperation with our neighbor country, Guyana, has taken place. Now, the National Immunization Program of the Ministry of Public Health can operate fully. The children vaccines borrowed from Guyana have been tested and approved by the Bureau for Public Health, BOG. The distribution of vaccines to the various clinics and consultation clinics will soon take place. The Ministry of Health asks parents and carers to follow instructions from health workers for a quick retrieval schedule so that their children can be vaccinated. In four days, over 2,000 children have received a school kit from the First Lady Ingrid Bautische Waldring. The pupils of different nursery schools in Ikeri, Koroni, Saramaka, Paramaribo, Komovene, Wanika and Para got a visit from the First Lady this week. Yesterday, the First Lady handed over the latest school kits to pupils from three schools in the Saramaka district. The Yaribaka school was first to be visited yesterday. After that, the First Lady left for the OS Kampong Baru school, where she was welcomed with enthusiasm by the school principal, teachers and students. She was given a bouquet by the host of the school. For the principal of the OS Kampong Baru, John Sengo Santono, it is an honor that the First Lady visited his school. The interest of, for the First Lady at the H.C. Powell School in Groningen was also great. Not only that the students were waiting for the First Lady, but also the parents. According to the principal, the First Lady had promised last year that she would visit the school. She says that she has a good feeling about the four-day project. For her, it is a continuity. For the coming time, there are still three projects in the planning, the First Lady added. It's August, time for the fifth Telesur IT Core Hackathon. The ICT Interest Organization IT Core ensures the continuation of this annual event. There are some challenges that the organization currently faces to get the hackathon started. The preliminaries took place on the 5th of August. 50 participants have signed up to participate at the end of August to develop a working software application within 24 hours. The theme of this year is gaming and gamification. The electronic trading bill was adopted yesterday in the National Assembly. This happened with a total of 37 votes. This law makes, among other things, the offense and unrestricted distribution of criminal information by social media punishable by law. It is already forbidden by law to offend the president. It, the Electronic Trading Act goes beyond just insulting the head of state. It will make it much more difficult for citizens to offend others by social media unpunished. Also, personal data is protected against so-called cybercrime. For cybercrime, there will be another separate law. This law also makes it possible to enter into agreements and make use of electronic signature. As for now, this is your local news of today. Thank you for joining us until Monday. <laughs>